a bizarre situation in DeKalb County, Georgia. A U.S. Army officer is now back in her home after a squatter moved in while she was serving active duty. And the process to get him out was anything but easy. This is how it all started. Lieutenant Colonel Dally Duray is with the U.S. Army Reserve. She was stationed in Chicago. That's her house in Atlanta. She claims that while she was on duty, this man, Vincent Simon, who has a lengthy criminal history, including convictions for drugs and guns and theft, moved into her home, started squatting there. This is a beautiful home, $500,000. Duray says that she had never met him, and then fast forward, she couldn't get him out of her own home. Dahlia is with us this morning uh, with an update on the situation. Uh, joining us, I believe, from are, from, are you from outside your house in Atlanta right now, Dahlia? Yes, I am. Oh, my gosh. You know, when I was reading your story the last couple of days, I was frustrated for you. And everybody I talked to felt the same way. Um, what's the update now? Do you have access to your home? Yes. Um, with the help of the Sheriff Department and the Marshals, I used the intruder warrant to get this person out of my home. They came this morning and did a knock. He left peacefully, however, he is now in jail, got arrested. Okay, so take me back to the beginning of this. You move out of your home to go serve active duty. How did he get in in the first place? I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, last Tuesday when I came here and spoke to him, he told me that the keys were mailed to him along with the lease by this person named Duffy. And I asked him, who is Duffy? He did not explain it. He also stated that he went through Georgia MLS and paid $19,000 to uh, Ashley Lane. However, the number on the lease does not exist. The address for Georgia MLS doesn't exist. So I'm unsure how he got it. I really don't know. And what was that moment when you realized he's in your house, you can't get him out, you essentially can't get in? I mean, what was that initial interaction when you realized, man, my, my hands are tied, I have, I have few options? At first, I was, I was really angry and frustrated because when the DeKalb County police came here, they said it was a civil matter and I had to go to court to evict him. Now, I'm the homeowner. I have my lien, um, my deed, my, the title to my home, the mortgage, right? My name does not appear on this fictitious lease. And I can't tell you to leave. I can't make you leave. I have to go to the courts to get him to leave. I think that's unfair. There's no justice in that. None whatsoever. There's no justice in that. However, I... Had I not gone to the news media, this would not have occurred right now. And homeowners need to know that there is a law in Georgia. It's a Title 44, 1130, the intruder's warrant that you can use. It's an affidavit you file with the courts. And after three days, the sheriff department can put out the intruder. Hmm. How long it's was he in your in house, Dahlia? He moved in May 1st, and it was May 1st that I discovered he was here. Okay. Um, the house was under contract, and my real estate agent, Mr. Knox, tried to get the covenant for the home, from the Homeowners Association. And in doing so, they sent her a picture of the beware of dog signs in the front of the yard, as well as some sheets and some shower curtains in the living room era because I had taken out all the blinds out of the house. So it's my understanding you were getting ready to sell the house. Have you been back inside it now to see kind of how things look? What's going on in there? I have. It's disturbing, it's disgusting. Oh. They were eating inside the master bedroom. They have food all over. They had mattresses on the floor. And also they had control substances in my house. Okay, and you say they, so in addition to the man who was squatting there and arrested, there were other people in there too? There was another gentleman that I had never seen him before. When I came here last Tuesday, he, he was not here. 
I had heard that there was a pregnant woman here when on, on May 1st, but I had never seen her. She wasn't here. It was Vincent Simon and another gentleman. I do not know his name. Well, I'm glad so you've got your I'm, house I'm back. A, Real quick, um, how much is, has this cost you? I mean, in addition to the stress and the frustration, um, it's costly. You're trying to sell your home. Now you have to clean it up. Yes, it's. I'm looking at about three thousand dollars at the onset, um, and I also have to do some painting and a lot of cleaning because the house reeks of marijuana. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.